Hey everyone, this is Group 10's psychiatry video, so let's get started. So first of all, our video is on substance abuse. We're going to start off with benzodiazepines, barbiturates, opiates, and heroin. So let's start off, you have your depressive disorders, your mood disorders, your anxiety disorders, and your psychotic disorders. Yeah. So let's talk basic psychiatry. To treat it, anxiety disorders, everything is up. So if you want to treat them, you want to bring everything down. And the best way to bring things down is by way of the brain. And remember, the most important neuroinhibitory molecule is your GABA. In the spinal cord, it's glycine, but we're going to talk about up here, since this is psychiatry. That's why the two drugs to treat these anxiety disorders are barbiturates and benzodiazepines. What do they do? They enhance GABA. What does GABA do? What does GABA do? What does GABA do? GABA opens up your chloride channels. So that way if a drug attaches to a cell, you know when it happens. What happens is that when you have chloride opening in a cell, it becomes more negative. So if you have a cell more negative, that means it's easy to polarize. Remember, if a cell becomes more positive, it becomes easier to depolarize. We want the cell to polarize, become more inactive. So, the difference between your benzodiazepines and your barbiturates is that your benzodiazepines increase the frequency of your chloride channel opening whereas your barbiturates increase the duration of your chloride channel opening but together you get a net effect of chloride channel opening but that's the difference so it's more times versus a longer time so benzodiazepines increase the frequency of your chloride channels. So there's a difference between chloride channel opening of benzodiazepines and barbiturates. Overall, you get a net effect of a more negative cell. So follow me, the cells are going to be more negative than usual. So understood? So I'll show you how to figure out the rest of this. If you had a patient that came in that was intoxicated, let's say with meds, um, what's the profile? The profile would be, I mean, what's the pattern, you know? How am I going to deal with this? What am I going to do? What should I know? How am I going to know? How many questions? But if I told you he's on a benzo, he has a pain, let's say on a board question, how would he look? So we have increased chloride channel opening, so everything would be slowed down so remember benzodiazepines, barbiturates, opiates and alcohol all slow down the body at least four so benzodiazepines, barbiturates, alcohol and opiates all slow down the body because they're all seen as depressing So if you had a patient that came in, how would he look? He'd be slowed down. <laughs> but of the four drugs, you can separate the four because opiates have your pinpoint pupils. Now here's a picture that would illustrate that. So if they're intoxicated on opiates, that's the one where they give you the pinpoint pupils. That's the only guy with pinpoint pupils of the four that's the only one so the three look the same and you can't tell them apart so pinpoint pupils opiates 
So as a review, we have your benzodiazepines, barbiturates, opiates, and alcohol. They are all seen as depressants, and that's why they're all talked about together. So whether you deal with GABA or with an opiate drug, you get the same net effect. So alright now, if I were to ask you what are bad complications of these drugs if I were to abuse anything? What if I were to ask you what were the complications if I were on a benzodiazepine? Would it be respiratory depression or constipation? How do you know which one is worse? You would say respiratory depression. It's because it's a CNS problem. Remember, we're talking in the realm of psychiatry. CNS depression. What if I'm withdrawing from it? What if I'm withdrawing from a drug that sedates me? What kind of pattern will I see? What's the opposite? Too much activity. That means if I'm withdrawing from benzos, barbiturates, opiates, and alcohol, they all look the same again. But there's only one of those that we can separate out again, and that's alcohol withdrawal, which we will see formication.